Praise God. We're Hallelujah. just so thankful for just another day. Praise the Lord. Another day. People used to say another day, another dollar. But another day, another living for Jesus. Another blessing. <coughs> the scripture that I was looking for, uh, and we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true. Even in his Son, Jesus Christ. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. You know, uh, I can't tell you why, you know, I can't tell you why God gives us certain scriptures, but uh, sometimes, even though we know what we know, we tend to drift off into trying to think of some other reason for what's going on. But we know that the Son of God has come and given us an understanding. And we are in him that is true. He does, in other words, if you know he's the truth, don't try to make no other truth. Right. There's only one truth. And that's the truth. Does that make any sense? Yes. yes. You know the world doesn't know, so don't don't go by what the world is saying or what the enemy is putting in your head. Go by what you know that He is true. It, you know, in other words, if you don't know anything else, you know that God is true. Yes. You don't you don't have to know other things. That's right. All you need to know is that God is true, and you are in Him. That is true. In other words, you're going in the right direction if you're in Him. And that's all you have to know. You don't have to know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't have to know why what happened yesterday. Uh, you, you don't have to know none of that. All you have to know that you are in him. Yes. And he's true. Yes. That's all. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Do you want that? Where, the location Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. First, John, First John 5 and 20. 20. Thanks. First John 5 and 20. Yeah. Well, just read it because I, that was just but the Lord kind of put in my spirit as I was. I was kind of looking for it quickly and I, I didn't. Just read it. You know, if he, if she's and we know that the Son of God has come and that he has given us understanding. He has given us understanding. That we may know him. He's given us an understanding that we may know him. That is true. See, the enemy try to tell you that this is true and that's true and the other thing is true. But nothing's true but truth. And that's him. He's the only truth. And we are in him. That is and true. you're in him if you have salvation. You're in him. And the devil try to take all that stuff away from you. But we have an understanding and we know that he's true. Even after God does more on the stage, we try to... Uh, the enemy tries to make us think, well, that wasn't God. <laughs> you know, that was just, just something that happened. No, you know. So hold to fast to the perfection of your faith without wavering, because he's faithful and promised. And what he has said will be whatever he said. It doesn't matter what it is. What he's, if he said it, that's it. <laughs> Lord, just keep you know, kind of pounding that in our spirit, you know. If he said it, that's it. That's right. And you're in him that's true. So he's truth. And he is no lie. There's no way possible for him to lie. He can't lie. So let's stay in him. Don't try to find no other way but in him. Because in him is life. Even in his son, Jesus Christ, this is the true God and eternal life. But the children, keep yourselves from mind. That's it. That's it. Amen. We can pull a lot of these scriptures, but I forget them. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> but I give God praise because he's yes. real. Yes, and he won't fail us. No. So keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep on praying. You know, sometimes people say, well, why do you keep praying? Somebody, I heard somebody talking on the uh, TV, and they said, well, no, maybe it's on the radio, I don't know, it doesn't matter. But they, 
you're saying, we're just praying and praying and praying and asking God, you know, crying out to the Lord. And you don't need to do all that praying. But listen, the word said, if my people that are called my name will humble themselves and pray, I'll hear from heaven. So we know he is true. I don't care what, if they don't understand why you pray, they don't have to understand it. If you don't understand why you pray, you don't have to understand. That's right. Because God said pray. That's right. It doesn't matter that he has accomplished everything. But prayer is what brings it forth. And prayer is what says, Lord, I have the faith to believe that you are true. So I'm going to keep on believing regardless of what the enemy puts in front of my face. That's right. Because he's going to put a dark cloud there for sure. Yes, he is. Keep you from believing. But this is the faith that overcomes the world. This is the victory that overcomes the world. It's our faith. Yes. And so our faith, faith keeps on praying regardless. That's right. It just keeps on praying. The devil says, no, you didn't pray enough. The devil says, the, the, that's what the enemy says. But God said, pray. So I'm praying. When Peter was in prison, they prayed. The scripture said the church prayed earnestly for him, right? Mm -hmm. They could have said, well, God's going to take care of him. He, he's his child. You know, so we just, you know, he'll, he'll get out when he gets out. <laughs> <laughs> they prayed fervently for Peter, right? Yes. So, say, well, God was going to do it anyhow. But the Lord said pray. So I'm just trying to get that across that we we get confused so easily, see, like, why am I doing all this praying? Because God said pray, that's why. Mm -hmm. So you can stop if you want to, but you won't get the blessing that you would receive. Amen. So let's stay true to him because he's going to stay true to us.